Beautiful cookie fans, it's time to take care of adorable kittens. Meow, making Mentos is not so easy as I expected. Oh, <gasps> it's a new cat. Chloe, have I seen that cat before? It's okay. Your love for homeless kittens is precious. Besides, Jack has also made mini Bentos. Don't worry too much. Meow. Meow. If you plan to help more kittens, don't forget to tell us. We're sure to help you. Sure thing. I'm going to meet with Jack. See you next time. Who was that cat? I guess other cats have been coming over and hanging out with the kitten since it's been so long since I played last. Is it you, Taylor? We haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah. Fortunately, you still remember us. During your absence, we have taken good care of ourselves. Please receive this gift and every cat has been waiting for you. The kitties are so cute. Yeah, so welcome back. All right, so we got some things so we can keep on playing the puzzles. All right, so here we are in the kitchen with the cats. Of course, they're adorable. Looks like we need to change out the flooring. Handcrafted carpet. Let's see, should we add in a green rug? Oh, look at the white furry one. Okay, that kind of seems like a bad idea to have that in a kitchen, right? Because if there's any spills at all, like if we're making a pizza, marinara sauce gets on there, could be bad. Or the blue rug. We'll go with the blue. We've laid it out. Now what? Has Edie said anything about it? Like maybe a new counter on the new carpet? Wow, if I hadn't witnessed it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed you two really could read each other's minds. Indeed, she wanted to see a counter on it. And even better, there were two bar stools so that you could enjoy eating dessert. Hmm. Too bad these old stools aren't stable enough to sit on anymore. Taylor, could you pick out a new set of stools and a counter to place here? All right, let's see. What are our options? Dining table. We can go with the yellow. This one. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this one might be too much yellow, so I think we need to go with number three. Yeah, that works. There we go. Yeah, excellent choice. The streamline and color would definitely make Edie... Watch your tongue. You're in no position to speak for her. I am the cat she trusts the most. I just wanted to say she'd like this. Taylor, could you ask Annie to be a kinder to me? I'm a bit scared of her. Now, 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 kitties. Keep being adorable. Keep getting along with each other. <laughs> Look at this. Taylor, look how serious Annie is and how upset Mike is. It's just adorable. I know, they look adorable, even when they're upset. This is the classic fight between best friend and the boyfriend. I wonder how it's all going to end. Stop eating popcorn, kitty. This is no comedy show. Come, help me and Taylor install the bar stools. Okay, we go with the yellow ones. These ones, red. Ooh, okay, the blue ones look like the comfiest, right? I mean, the red ones are like made out of like pure wood on the tops. Nothing comfortable there, but the yellow does match. I think the blue, they look like little flowers. Perfect. I knew that Taylor would make the right choice. These new stools are simply perfect. Ugh, I'm feeling sleepy already. I'd appreciate it if I could spend the night here. I just can't sleep on the carpet. On the carpet? In your dreams. The carpet is a gift from Edie, which I'm not sharing with you. Meow, Annie, seriously. The floor is too hard. Is that how you treat your guests? Plus, I was the one who brought it here in the first place. This is already a generous offer for an uninvited guest like you. You should just go to sleep. Edie's boyfriend. Okay, Annie doesn't believe that Mike is Edie's boyfriend. Is Edie gonna get here so we can like confirm that with her? Ugh, Annie, you have the strangest temper, much like a witch. How does Edie even deal with you? Ugh, whatever, good night. You'll see the truth tomorrow when she comes back and you'll regret it. Oh, meow, Taylor. Looks like this battle isn't ending anytime soon. I just hope Edie's return will put it to an end. Sleep tight, Taylor, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, another present. Thank you, kitties. Oh, we got cat cash. Okay, nighttime. And in the morning. Ah, good morning, Annie. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, kitty. Good morning, uninvited guests sleeping on the floor. Ah, my back. I knew the floorboards were too hard. Oh, poor Mike. We should have let him sleep on the carpet last night, Annie. No. I don't want to share my gift with him. If he wanted to rest well, shouldn't he have prepared a nice comfy cat bed for himself? Oh yes, I remember seeing some that seemed quite new in the cabinet by the wall. Taylor, let's pick out a cat bed to place on the floor. I'm sure it'll come into use. We had a cat bed the whole time? Ooh, and we should probably replace this cabinet. This still looks like it's pretty run down. All right, blue cat bed. This one, oh, they all look really nice. The little basket one's kind of like classic. That one's really cute. Oh. You can't go wrong with any of them. We'll go with this one. It looks like a little mini chair. How can I thank you, Taylor? I'm gonna sleep like a kitten tonight now that I've got this cat bed. Oh, please. Edie only sent you here to tell us she'd be late. Now that you've delivered the message, you can go. No need to stay overnight here. She asked me to wait for her here. If she still hasn't arrived by tonight, there's no way I'd leave. How oh, wonderful, we get to spend another day with you. Can you stop your sarcasm, Annie? Honestly, Edie thought we'd get along better since we both like cooking. Well, you like baking, but it's nonetheless culinary art, isn't it? What? You like cooking too? 
what a delightful turn of events, Taylor. Yeah, they have something in common. I'm passionate about cooking and even went to India to hone my skills. Thank you for the cat bit. I'll put on my apron and fix something yummy for you. But the cooking process will produce smoke and grease, Taylor. I think we need a new range hood. All right, let's listen to the cat chef. Add in a new range hood. Hmm, that one? that one. It looks like a TV a little bit. We'll go with this one. Mike begins cooking underneath the brand new range hood and soon everyone can detect a particular scent. What is he cooking? Ew, Taylor, I've never smelled this type of cuisine before. The aroma stings the nasal cavities because of the black mustard seeds and the odd scent is fennel. These are very popular spices in Indian cuisine. I'll cook whatever as long as Edie likes it and this is her favorite according to her. Says who her favorite is my fruit cake. Ooh, cake. Come on, give me a break. My Indian cuisine is tastier and she likes it more than your cakes. Uh, kitties, kitties, come on. Let's not fight now. No fighting. We're supposed to eat in the kitchen, not fight in the kitchen. Give you a break? Okay, Mike, now you're really getting on my nerve. I challenge you to a cook-off and Taylor will be the judge as to whose food is better. Yes, a cook-off. Wait, what? I have to be the judge? I won't be able to pick? Sure thing. My dishes are ready to be served. Here, Taylor, try my Indian cuisine first. Oh, there it is, Indian cuisine. All right, let's see. Ooh, yum, yum. Okay, so these are the three dishes. Which one did he prepare? We can set it out on the counter. So this one, number one, looks delicious. Number two, ooh, number two, or number three. Ooh, this looks delicious. Hopefully it's a big pot of curry. You and Kitty take a bite of Mike's cooking. Mm, yeah, yeah. Taylor, I'm surprised by how good it is, especially the sauce. What? Kitty, please. <laughs> Sorry, Annie, but as the judges, Taylor and I have to be honest. Mike's cooking is truly delicious. Why don't you have a taste? Right, Annie. Take a bite and forfeit this competition. You may have made curry, but I'm going to bake an ultra luxurious fruit cake. Okay, so let's get Annie's fruit cake ready. Ooh, wow, look at that. A three-tier fruit cake. Okay, or we've got this one with like a little mini cake on the side. Or we've got this one. We'll go with this one because you can easily see the fruits on the cake and there's a bowl of fruit left over. Feast your eyes upon my intricate cake. Come on, Taylor, have a taste. Whose creation is more tasty? Okay, you and Kitty take a careful bite and are instantly blown away by how tender and succulent it was. Taylor, this is even more amazing than the cake Annie made yesterday. Just incredible. So my cake is better? Annie, um, Taylor hasn't announced the results. You shouldn't interfere. Both have made delicious food. Faced with the two chefs, you and Kitty are stuck in a serious dilemma, but that is when a knock comes to the door. Uh, can one of the kitties get the door so I can keep eating the delicious curry and fruitcake? Listen, someone's knocking. Meow, it must be Edie. I'll go let her in. Whispers. Kitty, I was so caught up in fighting with Mike that I forgot that I'd have to tell Edie about the truck being out of business. Now what? Oh, <gasps> here she is. There she is. <gasps> we get to adopt a new cat. Come on in. This is Edie, right? Yeah, I saw the fur was blue. Okay, open up the cat box. Yes. Yes, she's a Russian blue Edie. A gentle and loving painter. She likes to do housework and travel. Edie, welcome. Okay, it's, it's hard for you guys to see her, but here, if I... There you go, you can see Edie right there, right behind me. All right, what does Annie have to say about seeing Edie? There's a BFF reunion! There she is! Hi, Edie! My name is Cookie. I mean, Taylor. Taylor in this game. Long time no see, Annie. I missed you so much. Wait a second. How come the kitchen looks so beautiful and tidy? Am I in a dream? Uh, so Edie, come meet Taylor and Kitty, the two master designers who are redecorating our kitchen. Wow, nice to meet you all. I'm Edie. I'm sure you already know Annie and Mike. Annie is my best friend and Mike is my boyfriend. There you go, she confirmed it right there. Mike is her boyfriend. Meow, you never told me about this boyfriend of yours. Meow, Annie, it all happened so quickly. I wanted to tell you in person, but Mike is such a sweet cat, isn't he? How come I don't see it? Oh well, you must be tired. Take a seat and relax a bit. Edie, why don't you have some curry or some fruit cake? Hey Taylor, I think Edie needs a drink of water. How about adding a water fountain here? Whoa, a whole water fountain just for a little drink? Okay. All right, add in a water fountain. Oh, it's a little kitty drink station. Okay. Hmm, which one? I think we should go with yellow because it kind of looks like a mini refrigerator, right? Same color as a refrigerator? Yeah. This water fountain is lovely. The tank is fully sealed and the water is automatically filtered. We're going to have clean water to drink from now on, Annie. Well, yes, each of Taylor's modifications change our life for the better. Hmm, hang on. What's that smell? Oh, my favorite things to eat, Indian cuisine and fruitcake. Seems like you two have been getting along well enough to cook together. No, 
needy. The truth is... No, Kitty, Kitty, don't tell her that they're not getting along. They got into an argument over whose cooking you preferred. And neither of them went back down. They were going head-to-head -head in competition. Oh, look at her face. She's, she's not happy to hear that. Now, why would you do such a thing? You both are exceptional cooks, and I love what you make. Both of you. Do you like his Indian food or my fruitcake? Which one's better? Edie, my love, you must prefer my Indian cuisine, right? The two cats each force feed Edie a spoonful of their respective creations, leaving her between a rock and a hard place. They're gonna make her pick? Why can't she like both? I mean, one is a meal, and the other one, the fruitcake, is kind of a dessert. She can like both of them, right? Okay, cut it out already. Indian food and fruitcake shouldn't be compared anyway. I agree, they're both different enough. I love the fruitcake that Annie makes, and I also love the Indian food that Mike makes. And I see no problem with that. See, she likes both of them, like I do. Good choice, Edie. She's smiling. Listen up, friends. I've brought back with me a ton of Indian spices and baking equipment. So don't say I wasn't fair. Taylor, please pick a new cabinet to store all these things. Absolutely perfect. So we've got a place to put in more Indian spices and some baking equipment. So we'll get the cabinet ready. So we need a spice cabinet. Oh, let's move the screen over. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of strange how it's blocking the refrigerator. We've got this one. Or we can keep them behind glass in this one. So this one, they're kind of open, but the colors don't really match. We'll go with this one. Is it me or are there more Indian spices than baking tools? Now, Annie, I went to India, so the spices were easier to find. But a lot of consideration was put into picking these tools, you know. Aren't there patterns studying? Fine, they are. I'll let it go this once. Be content, Annie. Edie said you like pretty trinkets. So she bought a bunch of accessories and toys for you. That's because I'm her BFF. Edie, let me help you unpack. It's my pleasure, Annie. You'll always be my bestie. But I think we need a new cupboard to store all these things. Taylor, could you pick out a cupboard? Yes! Finally, we're replacing this one because it is so run down looking. All right, this is where we're going to be storing all the baking supplies. Okay, why well, does we'll keep going with this color, right? I mean, we could add this one. This one's got a cute little shelf. But this one, I think it fits perfectly. Wait, what? what's that? Taylor, look! A slip of paper fell out from the old cupboard. What is that? Oh, no! Cease operation order, dear Miss Annie. It is with deep regret to inform you that your food truck venture is expected to cease operation due to the absence of a business license. We would appreciate that you cease all operations and pay the corresponding fines in respect of the law. <gasps> Uh-oh, Edie knows now that the food truck business is uh not doing so good. Ah, okay, I'm gonna hide. Ah, huh. Cease operation? Annie, the food truck we worked so hard on has asked to cease operation? And this is dated one month ago. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you lie to me saying you are out with the food truck every day? <gasps> Instantly, Annie freezes in the spot with a guilty look on her face staring at Edie. Well, I'm sorry, Edie. You are about to go on a trip. I didn't want to ruin your mood. Is maintaining my mood more important or maintaining our baby, the food truck? I can't believe you lied to me and kept me in the dark. I'm disappointed. What do you mean a lie, Edie? I just didn't want you to start the trip off on a bad note. I was going to tell you when you came back. Plus, you hadn't been so honest with me either. Not a single word about this new boyfriend of yours. Oh my goodness, girls, quit shouting. There are just some misunderstandings here, but it's not that serious. No, I don't think there are any misunderstandings. Edie, if you choose to be with Mike, then it's time for me to deal with my problems alone. A failure like me shouldn't stay to drag you down and disappoint you. I'll see myself out now. <gasps> She's running off! Edie's calling after her. No, Annie, come back. It's already quite late and cold outside, Taylor. It's not a good idea to leave Annie and Edie out. Let's see if we can help. Why do these kitties have to, like, fight so much? Oh, another present. We're Cat Cash. Should I buy him a new outfit? Would that make everybody happy? I just want them to stop arguing. It is nearing dawn by the time Kitty, Mike, and you drag your exhausted bodies back to the kitchen. However, neither Annie nor Edie come back. Oh, no. Where did they go? We couldn't find Annie or Edie anywhere. Where could they be? I'm really worried. They've lived here for three years, so they must know the surroundings better than us. Let's just wait for them here, since we couldn't track them down. Kitty really is the wise one. She has so many good ideas. I think that's wise, Kitty. We should just stay here. Is there any more food left? I want to clean the windows so we can see right away if they come back. But these things are too old to even clean. We're not doing anything anyway, Taylor. Why don't we change the windows? That way we can see if Annie and Edie have come back. Okay, are there windows in this room? Which windows should we clean? Oh, right here. I got to move the screen over. Okay, clean this window that's way over here. Hard to see, but we can go with yellow. 
the red. Ooh, that adds like a really nice pop to the kitchen, like a pop of color. Or we can go with the blue, keep it really monotone. I'm kind of liking the red. It's dramatic and it's bold. Go with the red. Look outside, it's Annie and Edie. Here they come, there you are. Taylor was worried about you all night long. Where in the world have you been? No one asked for your help. Achoo, <gasps> did she catch a cold? Mike, they look exhausted and Annie might have caught a cold. Shall we prepare some soup to warm them up? Great idea, Kitty. Taylor, we should dig out some tableware and I'll fix us a nice hot breakfast. Yes, there's so much food in here with the cats. I love it. Let's move the screen over. And right there, tableware. Okay, go with that set. Mm-hmm. Ooh. There we go. Thanks to Mike, everyone can enjoy steaming fresh breakfast. Don't you feel warmer now that you drank my soup, Annie? I've gotten warmer without your soup. Thank you. I've gotten along just fine without Edie, too. Annie! Come on. Stop being like that. Now, Annie, you're just being difficult. Your teeth were chattering when I found you. You're always like this, putting everything on your shoulders, never letting me help. That's why I flew off the handle when I found out you've been keeping me in the dark. You mean... You're not mad at me because all our work has gone to waste? Of course not, silly. I felt angry when I thought of all the hardship you went through for a whole month without telling me and letting me help. I see. It's because you cared. Sorry, Edie, I was mistaken. I have to apologize too, Annie. We're best friends, but I forgot to tell you that I was going out with Mike. You must have been upset, and I'm sorry. It's fine, Edie. I think I should apologize to Mike now. I've been mean to him since the moment he arrived, but he still found it in his heart to make soup for me. Yeah, he's been very nice to all the cats. He definitely deserves an apology. Meow. Annie, don't worry about it. It's nothing. It's not. I blatantly ignored your kindness and treated you poorly. I should be ashamed. I hope you would accept a gift from me as an apology. A beautiful outfit. Taylor, would you be so kind as to help Mike into his new outfit? I knew it. I called it. I said, I should probably get the cats a new outfit. Maybe you would cheer everyone up. Yeah, let's pick them out a little kitty outfit. We got some kitty cash. It should be perfect. Oh, it's so cute. He looks adorable. Look at him in it. Ah, it even has little shoes. Okay, or I can spin some kitty cat. Is this one free? Okay, that one might be free. And then we can get him some other outfits too. Let's just take a little look here. Oh. Look at that. Graduation kitty. Ooh, look at that costume. Little witch outfit. Royalty kitty. We'll get him this little outfit because it's so adorable. Wow, this is sharp. Thank you, Annie, and thanks, Taylor, for putting it on. How wonderful now that the conflict has been resolved and you're getting on so well. I really couldn't be happier. Actually, I thought of a way to let her keep baking even if the truck won't be operational. Annie, want to hear it? Of course, spit it out. You wanted to run the food truck because you wanted to share your sweet creations, right? If that's the case, there's another way you can achieve that goal by being an instructor who teaches people how to make dessert. Yeah, what a great idea. Give a cat a fish and you feed her for a day. Teach a cat to fish and you feed her for a lifetime. If Annie could share her recipes and techniques, then even more would get to taste delicious creations a la Annie, more than the truck could ever even reach. Incredible, excellent idea. That's right, I heard tons of people live stream themselves cooking online with millions of viewers, YouTubing, just like Cookie here, I mean Taylor. You could be a viral pastry chef. Meow. The newly refurbished kitchen could be Annie's work studio. Taylor, we should get ceiling lights ready for her shot. <gasps> Look at Chief! Taylor, our panda friend has brought us panda treasure. There's a treasure hunt. Check out what surprises are waiting for you. Okay, only for 29 days. What's going on? Look at it. They're dressed like a panda. Love it. Okay, let's replace the lights so we can get some better lighting. Okay, that, that. Which one has the most lighting? Probably this one. You can actually see it beaming down. Are ready to shoot? Get the phone ready, Taylor. We're about to witness Miss Annie's first lesson. Hold on. I heard internet traffic is the highest from 7 to 10 in the evening. It's well before 7 o'clock. Why don't we wait a little longer? Mike, that thing has been out of order for ages. Your advice is good, though. We should choose our streaming schedule wisely. It looks like I need to get a new clock up on the wall. Help me pick out a good one. So let's pick out a clock for Annie. Okay, it definitely cuts off on my screen. So it looks like kind of a grandfather clock, a round clock, or a square one. There we go. Meow. I officially declare the kitchen refurbishment complete. We've got a new home now, Annie. Come on, let's start streaming. Lights, camera. <sighs> I'm starting to get butterflies. It's okay, Annie, you can do it. You can do it. Calm down, Annie. Just be yourself. Let us begin streaming now. Oh, Annie's got something on her mind. Annie's culinary school. Is that what she's calling it? Oh, look, we got a little camera over here. Oh, <gasps> she started. The stream came to an end an hour later. Tons of fans have left comments online. Your lesson was a hit. 
Someone wrote, Annie's passion for baking genuinely touched me. I'm going to pursue my dream as well. You really encourage them. This is wonderful, my friends. If it weren't for you all, I wouldn't have achieved such success. It's because of you that my dream came true. It's all because of your encouragement. Another present! Cat Cash! We can get him another outfit. Should we get the kitties another outfit? We should get Annie something to wear for whenever she streams again for her cooking stream. I think you should thank the mastermind. If it weren't for Taylor, there wouldn't be this gorgeous kitchen. Also, Mike, since he's the one who came up with the idea. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Taylor and Mike. Where are you, Mike? Where is he? Did he leave? Oh, there he is. Right here. I'm here. Sorry about that, Annie. I just got a call from my grandpa. He bought a villa at a low price, but it turned out to be in terrible shape. He's freaking out now, asking me to take care of the mess. Well, that shouldn't pose a problem as long as it gets a nice renovation like our kitchen. It could be gorgeous. Yes, and we've got an expert right here. Maybe Taylor could give you some help restoring that house. Then your granddad can rest easy. Of course, Taylor would love to help. Let's embark on a new adventure. That's perfect. Are you coming, Edie? No, count me out. I haven't been with Annie for a month and I miss her terribly. I think I'll stay and spend some time with her. Sure. Then wait for me here. Goodbye, my love. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Okay, so Edie misses hanging out with her BFF, Annie. So she's just gonna stay here. Well, it seems like we're gonna start a new renovation project for Mike's grandpa. Kitty, are you coming too? Goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Taylor and Kitty. Bon voyage. Look it! We did such a beautiful job renovating this. This was so much fun. Renovation complete. The sweet kitchen. All right, let's continue now. Now we're moving on to the living room. Go to grandpa's villa, meet new cat friends, and read new stories. Yes, so we unlocked something new. All right, so it looks like we're starting a brand new adventure with the cats. I love that so much. That was so much fun working in the sweet kitchen. So join me again, and we're gonna start working in the living room of the villa, and the kitten match adventures will continue. Be beautiful, be amazing, and I I will see you in my next video. Bye, cookie fans.